Hello everyone, welcome to House of Horrors. Now today we're going to touch base on a Toonie Tear based on Sam. I've been wanting to get this for a while, but on Amazon and other places, they've been quite more, you know, more expensive because of its popularity. It seems that no matter how popular it is, the more expensive they are. But I did manage to come across this in Target. So I said, let me pick this up. And it was reasonably priced. I, I couldn't complain because online... It's like $50, $75 for this damn figure. It's like, no way am I going to pay for that. So I ended up getting it for like close to $40. But no, this is, um, I think it was $20 something. Yeah, usually they're around $13, but then obviously everything goes up in price. Uh, but long story short, this is the Toonie Terror version of Sam from Trick or Treat, which is a movie that came out in 2008. Okay, it was uh, directed by Michael Doherty, who also did. Uh, the 2019 movie Godzilla King of the Monsters. And that movie was okay. The special effects were mediocre at best. Uh, but in some scenes, Ghidorah looked absolutely amazing the way they did it. But the whole blue, dark tone to that movie, it just didn't sit well with most people, including myself. Uh, but the movie was okay. Now, towards the end of that movie, uh, because they needed plot armor, because Godzilla simply could not defeat Ghidorah no matter what he did, uh, but he did it through um, Mothra, sacrificing herself through life essence and stuff like that. And he ended up becoming a different form of a uh, burning Godzilla. And he used his nuclear pulse and killed Ghidorah. You know, I didn't think that was okay. But anyway, it is what it is when it comes to these movies. But anyway, we're going to get into Sam here. The movie in itself, Trick or Treat, is a very cool Halloween slash horror movie. Very cool. It's got some cool elements. It's got some beautiful looking girls in it. Uh, Sam in himself, he's very traditional when it comes to Halloween. Uh, if you do anything destructive or anything bad when it comes to Halloween, he comes after you and takes care of business. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the package, then I'm going to shut the camera down, and then we're going to look at the actual figure. Okay. Now as you can see down below here, I got these guys on uh, stands, okay, only because they're real small, and I said this in my other video. They got such tiny feet that they cannot go into the actual NECA stand, so I had to literally glue them to the stand, just like I did with my other four uh, uh, Puppet Master figures. So I got a total of six of these things now. Once they do come out with some new ones, if they come out with new ones, uh, I'm definitely going to collect them. But anyway, let's look at the package on this bad boy. We're going to check the back out, okay? Okay, look at that. Something. Now, you can actually cut this out and use it as a backdrop if you want to for your figure, but I don't necessarily do that. Sam. That's what he looks like inside the package. Okay, he's got his lollipop. And I got the mask for this, and I also got the mask for that, so. I should have brought them out, but that's okay. All right, here's the side of the package. All right. I said I'll knock out those figures. Okay, that's what the package looks like. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down. All right, and show you what the actual figure looks like. So I'll be right back. Hello everyone, we are back. It was easy to pull it out of its package for a change. I NECA usually, you know, binds them real fucking good. So it takes you like two hours to get them out of their packages. But anyway, let's show you some accessories. Here's his lollipop. That you see him carrying around. Okay. It's a simple little stick and lollipop. Enough about that. It does come with the head without the, um, the burlap bag on it. And like I said, I got both masks from Trick or Treat Studios. I got the top uh, quality ones. I didn't get the lower uh, quality ones because they really didn't look that good. So if you want something that looks like, you know, like an exact replica, you got to put some money into them. All right. All right, that's Sam. Okay. Bottom of it. Now these are easy to pop on, but you got to twist and twist just to get them, you know, past the ball joint. But that's the head right there. Pumpkin baby. Now my mask. The pumpkin itself. This one here. 
It was like an off color, like a very, very, very light tan orange color. So it's not traditional orange like a pumpkin would be. Okay, it's like an off color of it. But anyway, now that's the mask, okay. It also, whoa, also comes with the uh, burlap bag, which I'm going to show you the figure to, as you can see. It, what you do is you stretch the hand, and you just simply slip the bag in there, and, she, and he's good to go. Okay. Articulation wise you can twist the head if you want, but it'll pop off if you're not careful. Alright, now the arms they do swing back and forth, okay, very tightly. Okay. So there's a good possibility they could now you see the elbow right there? You can't really move it in the elbow, okay? But the hands do move. They they have a certain amount of flexibility. Alright. And that's the back of him. Which I think is rather cool. Okay. Sam, I've always liked this character because I always liked the movie. I sat down one night and watched it. I said, I really like this movie. Because I love Halloween and horror. Those are my two favorite things. So it was a great combination just watching that movie. Okay, now you can see the bottom of the feet here. They do have the holes for the neck of stands. Okay. But this stands on its own because it's a bigger figure. So I've got an ungodly amount of Toonie Terrors based on anything horror related. All right, so I think they're Toonie Terrors, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You no, know, Terror Toonies, I think they're called. Hang on for a second. Toonie Terrors, just like I said. <laughs> okay, I get confused with that, man. It's like, are they called Terror Toonies or Toonie Terrors? But anyway, that's Sam, okay? And that's pretty much it in a nutshell when it comes to that. I'm going to put the lollipop in his hand. And I can switch out the heads if I want, but I choose not to do that. There we go. This is what he looks like in all his glory. Okay. I'm going to put him up here on the stand. All right. Then we're going to turn it. There we go. All right. That's good, yeah. You guys get the idea. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And like I said with the um, the Puppet Masters, I do got a total of six of them. I'm going to be moving on to two other figures that I did collect. One of them is an actual, is, he's called The Fiend. He's not from any movie or anything. He's actually from a punk rock group from the 80s or 90s, I'm not sure. But he's a very popular character when it comes to that rock band. And I decided to go ahead and pick that up, so we're going to touch base on that one next. And then after that, we're going to be touching base on Nosferatus, okay? The original vampire. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he's the original because he came out in black and white, silent films. Yeah, he's a very popular guy. So we're going to be touching base on that, and they're both Necro figures. So in the meantime, you guys go ahead and enjoy yourselves. I will see you guys at the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because, like I said, I'm going to be doing those other videos. And I've been going through dry spells only because of my wife's father being here. And he can be a little distracting in the way that he talks. He's really loud, so I couldn't do any videos until he went over to uh, my wife's sister's house. So now we're good to go. So now we're going to be popping out some videos, okay? In the meantime, everyone have yourselves a good day.